What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. Recapping the news, it's 2 a.m. on Christmas Day. Well, I should say the day after in the morning. I'm super tired, but I have some breaking news for you guys, so I needed to get this video out. But if I sound a little out of it, that is the reason why. And before we get into the highlights, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Also, if you haven't yet, I just dropped a 2024 Air Jordan release dates video. It's an hour and 35 minutes long. It has all the releases we know so far from January until fall of 2024. There will be a link in the description below for you to go and check out. And make sure to hit that video with a thumbs up as well. But the highlights in this video. I'm going to talk about the Air Jordan 11 Columbia, also what some people call Legend Blue, returning for the holiday 2024 season. Also dropping during the holiday 2024 season is the Black Cat Air Jordan 3. Yes, that pair will be making a return. Other than that, we have a few pairs I need to go over from Nike, and that's about it. Not too long of a video today just because, again, it's late, I'm tired, but we got some important information we all need to go over, and with that said, let's jump into the news. I believe in one of my previous videos, I talked about the Nike Air More Uptempo Olympic returning in 2024. This pair will return for the Olympic Games in Paris, France. Now, at that time, I didn't know the release date. I knew it was part of Nike's Fall 2024 collection, which means that a release could take place between July and September 2024. Now, before I jump on to the release date, what makes this shoe so special, at least in my opinion, is that it was worn by Scottie Pippen during the 1996 Olympic Games. So on the hills, it has Pippen's Olympic number eight outlined in gold. Also, this pair has released quite a few times over the years. The original pair dropped in 1996, and the shoes have actually retroed a total of five times. So in 2024, it'll be the sixth time. So like I mentioned, 1996 was the original release date. And then there was a second retro that was really limited and only released at House of Hoops. That took place in 2010. Two years later, we saw the shoes return to retailers in 2012. Four years later, the pair dropped again in 2016. Some of those pairs were gifted to friends and family of Nike, which came with some special packaging. The packaging was dope. And then the final time we saw the shoes drop was in 2020. So the sixth time will be in 2024, and the pair will specifically drop on August 11th. It's possible they could get moved, and the retail price will be 170. A couple weeks ago, we received a first look at the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro Girl Dad. Now, originally this was being called Bicoastal, and that was due to the colorway, which is Bicoastal Black and Metallic Silver. Now, I was able to leak the shoe, the information, but the official name for them is Girl Dad, and I'll talk about that more in a minute. And the reason I'm talking about them now, a couple days ago, new images popped up showing how they look on feet, but I never officially got to talk about the Girl Dad Kobe 4 Pro Tro, the official name that is, and how they look and so forth. So this pair has that bi-coastal shade of green across the upper. I actually really like that shade. And then we have metallic silver on the hill counter. White hits the Kobe Shield logo on the tongue. And then we have black on the swoosh. In addition, we have black laces, bi-coastal on the mesh tongues. And tying everything together, we have Girl Dad in cursive on the inside of the tongues. The number 24 is debossed on the hills, and it looks like the upper on these is nubuck. And then we have orange across the insoles and a translucent rubber outsole. These are clean. I like this colorway. It's also cool what they represent. I remember back when he passed away, there was this big push about being a girl dad, and a lot of shirts were made and stuff like that. But if you're interested in grabbing this pair, they are currently scheduled to release on May 31st. Again, that could change. And the retail price will be 190 You may have saw this news about a week ago. I actually broke this and I wasn't doing videos at that time. Well, I was recording the Air Jordan release dates video and obviously this is an Air Jordan so I didn't include it. But the Nike Kobe 9 Elite Pro Tro Christmas will be making a return for the holiday 2024 season. This will also celebrate the 10th anniversary of the original release. 
Now there's several different versions of the Kobe 9, but it looks like in 2024, Nike basketball is focusing on the Kobe 9 Elite and the Kobe 9 EM. So the EM is the low top version and the Elite is the high top, it's super high. And fresh off the reverse Grinch dropping, we learned information that the Christmas pair of the Kobe 9 Elite would be returning in holiday 2024. I wasn't able to grab this pair when they originally dropped. I wasn't a huge fan of the high top pair. I'm not gonna lie, I have one pair. Uh, it's a half size too small, so I can't really fit them. But over time, they've grown on me. I have several pairs of the EM. Personally, I like the fit of that shoe a lot more. But the pair will feature a bright crimson, black and white color combination. The original pair dropped back in 2014, and it comes highlighted with a unique red and white pattern throughout. White covers the base, and then we have red fly knit on the overlays. Also, we have carbon fiber in the heel counter, and of course, Kobe Bryant's shield logo on the tongues. We have accents of green. As you can see, the lines on the back of the shoe, that actually represents Kobe Bryant's torn Achilles and the stitches that he had to have to have it repaired. So, other than that, the outsole features a mixture of red, white, black, and a little bit of green. Now moving on to the release details, unfortunately I don't have much, however they are expected to debut probably in December, although not confirmed, definitely the holiday season, and at the time of recording, no retail price. For Jordan brand news, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, only two pairs I'm going to talk about in this video. I have another one planned for maybe two days from now with some more news, but I have details on the Air Jordan 3 Black Cat returning during the holiday 2024 season. That is correct. As many of you know, Michael Jordan's nickname was Black Cat, which is inspired by a panther. Due to his moves on the court, they were smooth and stealthy, but he could strike at a drop of a dime. That is why he received that nickname. And later on, it inspired the Air Jordan 13. The outsole on the 13 is inspired by a panther's paw. After that, we received a few releases to Black Cat. One of those is the Air Jordan 4, and the other pair is the Air Jordan 3. Now, I'm sure I'm missing a few. I know we also had the Air Jordan 13 Black Cat. That pair definitely makes sense. But this particular pair actually released back in 2007, specifically on June 16th. And at the time, the retail price was 125 Back then, they also came with a retro card, which was pretty cool. I wish they would start doing that now on some of these releases, but the price keeps going up and we keep getting less. So, moving forward, in the early days, they were also calling the shoe Triple Black. But the Black Hat nickname stuck because underneath the heel tabs, Black Hat is actually stitched on. Also, this pair uses different materials that at the time traditionally wasn't seen on the Air Jordan 3. For example, Nubuck and patent leather. Other than that, the overall look is very, very clean. It's very simple. The midsole also has like a glossy overlay. The 2007 pair that is, that's what you're looking at right now. I don't have photos of the 2024. Also, the elephant print is very subtle. We do have a little bit of white and that's gonna be the Jumpman on the insoles and Jordan written across the outsole. But other than that, it's pretty much all black and charcoal. And then of course we have elephant print on the laces. So at the time of recording, the release details once again are slim. This pair will be part of Jordan Brand's Holiday 2024 collection. However, I could see them dropping this pair on Black Friday. That would make sense. And as for a retail price, I'm not sure of one just yet. It's probably gonna be either 200 or 210. I could also see this pair dropping in full family sizing, but again, I don't have the confirmation. All this news is pretty early. They are confirmed. Probably in the next week, I will have better time frames, retail prices, but this news, I didn't want to wait. I definitely felt like I needed to get it out to you guys. But let me know your thoughts on the Air Jordan 3 Black Cat returning in 2024. Before I talk about the Air Jordan 11 Columbia, or what some would call Legend Blue, I need to tell a little bit of a story. Nothing too crazy or long, but... I got done with the video I just dropped, which is an hour and 35 minutes long. Literally, as I'm uploading the video, I get a message talking about this news. So I contemplated, should I take the video down, add another segment to it, including this shoe, or should I just keep going and upload it 
and then make a new video talking about the return. So as you can see, you guys know what I chose, but the Air Jordan 11 Columbia, some like to call them Legend Blue now, will be returning for the holiday 2024 season. Now for those that don't know, I'm going to run down a little bit of history for you guys, talk about the differences and whatnot, but the original release took place in 1996. Michael Jordan wore them during the All-Star game. That is also why they're nicknamed All-Star. And then we saw a second release take place in 2001. Now the 2001 pair featured lower cut patent leather. It was pretty close to the original, but there were some small differences. Now moving forward to 2014, we saw the Legend Blue Air Jordan 11 debut. Now for what it's worth, that shoe was supposed to be the Columbia. And in my opinion, it's still the Columbia. The name has changed. What I heard is that Nike and Jordan brand no longer own the copyright for the use of Columbia Blue. So they had to use a different shade of blue or name it something different. So they went with Legend Blue. Now, other than that, the shoes still weren't close. There was some differences. For example, the Jumpman was facing the wrong way on the ankle. It also featured a Jumpman on the insoles. The cut of the patent leather was closer to the 2001, but the overall shape, in my opinion, I just don't like it. I never bought the Legend Blue just because I didn't like the shape. But even the tag on the inside of the tongue, it's different. The shade used is slightly different across the translucent outsole. It's a different shade of blue. But all in all, what Jordan Brand was trying to do is recreate the Columbia Air Jordan 11. As we all know, they can't get stuff right. They're never going to get it one-to-one -one compared to the original. They could do better, and they have been doing better, but during the 2010 era, they missed the mark quite a bit. Now, I'm calling these Columbia because this is the original name of the shoe. More than likely, they're going to be calling it something different. For example, we have the Fomposite One Royal dropping, the official shade use is industrial blue. Are people going to call that shoe industrial blue? No. The Air Jordan 4 military blue. The official shade of blue being used? Industrial blue. You think people are going to call the military blue industrial blue? No. No way. I mean, they might, but, you know, we all know it as the military blue Air Jordan 4. So... I wouldn't be surprised if they try to slap this pair with industrial blue or some crazy shade of blue name. But overall, to me, this is the Columbia 11. The 2014 pair was not a good example of the Columbia 11, I'll be honest with you. Now, other than the shoes returning, I don't have much more information. Again, I'll be getting a lot more in about a week or two. But what I imagine is that Jordan Brand is going to make these closest to the original release because... They definitely missed the mark in 2014. 2001, that pair was good, but it wasn't an exact replica. But for 2024, I believe that they're going to try to make it close. Now, will they ever get it spot on? No, but I'm hoping that at least they make it where a lot of people will be happy. So this is your 2024 Air Jordan 11 Christmas time release. I know some people have been asking if it's Gamma 11s. Is it Legend Blue? I've been really quiet. I Even in the latest video I just dropped, somebody, actually a handful of people asked about the 11s, if it's going to be the Legend Blue slash Columbia or Gammas. And I usually like to respond to every comment. Unfortunately, I only had to like it because there was no way I could respond without being honest and not giving it away. So I just hearted the comment and moved on. So my apologies. Hopefully you see this video and know the reason that's why I did it. But expected to release in December. More than likely, they will be available in full family sizing. That's just how 11s go. And the retail price is expected to be 230 Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you happy that the Air Jordan 11 Columbia, a.k.a. slash Legend Blue, is returning? Or would you rather have seen another pair like the Gammas or just something different? And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you have a second and haven't done so already, also appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. One more thing, if you haven't yet, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. I got a lot coming this week and next week, so be on the lookout. 
Also, if you haven't yet, go check out my 2024 Air Jordan release dates, Ultimate Guide video. Everything is in there with the exception of these two pairs. But you can see what's coming out in 2024 all the way up until fall. Again, there's going to be more surprises throughout. But if you can, go check it out. Give it a like. And I would appreciate that. So let me know what you liked or disliked in this video down below. As well, if you have any questions, leave that down below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.